Tonight, after years of planning, designing and construction, a new exhibit is set to make its debut at the Anderson County Museum tomorrow. Now, it'll tell the stories of war through those who called Anderson County home. Fox County's Zach Proletsky takes an inside look at the exhibit and has more. Inside the Anderson County Museum. And when they realized that it was made of zinc, they just left him laying. A constant reminder of where the county came from and who came from it. One of the first big exhibits we wanted to do was a military exhibit that told different stories that let history speak. This exhibit has been in the works for seven years, a long process, but one that has been worth it to share the stories of veterans here in Anderson County. Andersonians in war will take you on a trip through time. Every veteran in our county uh, and state has a story to be told. And uh, a lot of these people, they may not see their story as being as, as magnanimous as we might think here. So uh, we see it as our job to highlight those people and make importance out of everything that they have done because it was important. Veterans like Medal of Honor recipient Corporal Freddie Stowers, born in Anderson County and killed in action while serving during World War I. We are who we are. It's a great country because of all these names that will be represented in here. And Anderson is a better place because of these people. Don Chapman is the architect of the exhibit, including Veterans Hall, a section honoring more than 700 veterans who lived in Anderson County, including his own father, William Chapman Jr. My dad was a 22-year veteran of the United States Navy. Whether you know any of the veterans in the exhibit or not, everyone in Anderson County is linked together. We're giving people a place to come in and discuss and talk about history and war in a very reflective way. In Anderson, Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina News. Now, the exhibit will be open to the public for the first time tomorrow for Veterans Day. We have much more information about the exhibit on foxcarolina.com.